The Jamaica Defense Force was formed on the 31st of July, 1962. Its overall mission is to provide military capability to deter and defeat threats against the Jamaican state and its interests. In fulfilling this mandate, the force has a number of primary tasks. The JDF is required to effectively protect Jamaica's sovereignty by detecting, identifying, and responding to external threats against the country. In doing so, it combines land, air, and maritime capabilities bolstered by bilateral or multilateral agreements with partner nations. At present, the JDF consists of approximately one brigade group with a number of essential supporting elements. The JDF assists with the provision of internal security by supporting the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, on a continuous basis with its regular and reserve infantry battalions. The force provides patrol vehicles, communication systems, surveillance helicopters, and of course, troops for law enforcement assistance to the JCF. Though the main responsibility rests with the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, the JDF maintains the capability to mount post-disaster relief, recovery, and reconstruction operations. The task of disaster management is done with infantry and air assets, along with engineering equipment and logistics-trained personnel. The JDF also works along with other Government of Jamaica ministries, departments and agencies in carrying out these tasks. The JDF provides, manages and maintains essential services in any national emergency and gives advice and support to national construction projects. The resources used to achieve this capability are primarily air, maritime, infantry and engineer assets. There are ever-increasing demands on the force for its human capital, as national projects and programs are a major source of manpower utilization. Jamaica has a maritime area of approximately 275,000 square kilometers. The JDF is required to have an air and maritime capability to detect and identify aircraft and vessels within Jamaica's airspace and maritime areas on a 24-hour basis. The force must interdict vessels involved in illegal activities and refugee movement, respond to maritime disasters at sea, and undertake environmental and resource protection tasks. The JDF has the capability to respond to terrorist threats, including hijackings, improvised explosive devices, IED, and attacks on key installations. The resources for this capability include specially trained troops, suitably equipped IED and EOD teams, as well as the infantry and intelligence forces required for these tasks. The JDF is required to search for, locate and rescue persons, aircraft and vessels in distress within Jamaica's search and rescue region. In order to carry out this task, the JDF currently uses its medium lift helicopters and its inshore and offshore patrol vessels to effect rescue missions at sea. For land rescue missions, specifically trained and equipped infantry carry out these tasks. The JDF provides external humanitarian assistance and participates in peacekeeping and conflict prevention operations regionally and internationally. The JDF maintains the flexibility to package its forces with the requisite equipment for deployment on a wide range of missions and assists our regional partners in the event of such contingencies. The JDF participates in regional training and exchange exercises in order to maintain interoperability with our partner nations. The force also liaises with regional and international partners on security matters, including security-related memorandums of understandings and treaties. Finally, the JDF provides troops for state ceremonial functions, including guards of honor and state funerals, and also maintains its military band, 
which continues to chart a proud tradition for Jamaica and the Jamaica Defense Force.